This is the introduction to my video course on data structures. My goal with this course is to cover a number of ideas in data structure design that I find myself using again and again, and which are not a part of the typical computer science curriculum. The typical curriculum teaches data structures by introducing concepts like arrays, linked lists, queues, stacks, binary trees, tries, heaps, priority queues, hash tables, graphs, and whatever else they can think of. I think these courses often give the idea that these are the basic data structures and that most of programming is just going to involve picking the right ones to put together at each step. But I have a very different perspective. I believe what you really need is a toolbox of techniques for crafting custom data structures. The ability to design a custom data structure unlocks worlds of possibilities, whether you're making a compound entity system for a game, a persistent history for an editor, intermediate representations for a compiler, or something else entirely, you need more than just a pile of basic data structures. I also want to show what designing data structures looks like when you fully embrace arena-based memory management. While arena-based memory management is growing more popular, there are still a lot of ways of working with arenas that I think are not that well known, and I want to expose more of them. Here are some specific techniques and data structures that I want to cover in this course. Node structures, expression encodings, index systems, algebraic type notation, arrow diagram notation, type information, expression trees, variable binding expressions, serialization systems, loose bake construction systems, generational IDs, lifetime dependency systems, and geometric constructions. I'm still developing the course as I record this, so a lot more might end up on this list and I might keep it going for as long as there's more stuff for me to add. The course will have some prerequisites. It's going to assume that you are comfortable with programming in C, that you already know arrays, linked lists, and hash tables, and that you're familiar with the basics of arena-based memory management. That covers what I can say so far about the content plan for the course. Now let me tell you how the course is going to work. First, on my Discord, anyone who is a member of MrForth.com will get the videos as soon as they are ready. Members will have exclusive access for some time, maybe a month or more, and the opportunity during that time to engage in discussions with me and with each other about the ideas I present in the course. While that's going on, I'm going to answer questions, help with exercises, and take feedback. Second, I may redo parts of the videos while they are still in the members-only phase. The course is sort of a back-and-forth process with me and my members. Members get the individualized attention from me as they engage with the material, and I get to see what's working and what needs to be done better in the videos. Finally, after members have had plenty of time to engage and I'm satisfied that the video is well-refined, I'll publish it here for free so anyone can see it on YouTube. If you would like to participate in this course during the live back and forth phase of each video, becoming a member is easy. Just go to mrforth.com slash membership. Membership only costs $15 a month or $150 annually, and it doesn't just get you access to this course. You'll also get access to devlogs on all Mr. Forth Lab projects. You'll get access to the indexed and searchable video library that I have hosted on Sonera, and you'll have access to all of my early source access projects. Additionally, every dollar you spend as a member is saved as a credit to your account, which you can use again to purchase software from MrForth.com in the future. And of course, becoming a member supports me and keeps me independent so that I can keep developing this course and working on my other research projects. Whether you engage as a member or wait for the free version of the course materials to come out later, I hope that this course will be a valuable resource to your programming journey. Thanks for watching.